Hello and hi everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining in. It is me, Magical Matthias, and I am here doing something a little bit different. So um, I found um, these really awesome vintage Barbies at um, a shop here a while back. And I have been just like dreaming of this outfit for a while. So I've got Hollywood Nails Barbie um, here in the box that I'm gonna unbox for you and do a review just so you can kind of see and compare and contrast what you used to get and what you get now. Um, just because there's a lot of really good quality, a lot of really good details in this doll, and I think originally it was only like priced at maybe $20 at most. Um, but I really love this because it really celebrates the Y2K fashion that is currently coming back. So um, I really was excited to see her. She also has a really pale skin tone that's similar to the purple made to move top, um, but, and this was also the most articulation you could have at the time. Um, but there are, I guess, three different dolls. So you get Barbie, Christy, and Teresa back when they just still had Barbie, Christy, and Teresa. Um, and they're all in their own theme as far as a color. Uh, and then also, actually, I guess that's the only thing that they really have. They also, they're supposed to be doing nails. So that's the purpose of this. But let me go ahead and get her out of the box and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here she is out of the box. And she's really interesting, I'll say that. So, um, like I said, this was 1999. This was not even in the 2000s. This was 21 years ago. Um, so this doll was monumental for the time because of her fashion. And then also, she had a really large amount of articulation for this time. Now, we've seen Monster High, Made to Move. These guys were it back then. They were the only thing that we had. Um, so I really, I loved the articulation and the amount of outfit pieces that you get because this dress that she's wearing is tiny little screen printed images on like a sheer mesh that stretches of her family, like the Barbie family. Like that's Teen Nikki, you've got Ken, you've got Kelly, RIP. Um, and I think that's Kevin, who is like Skipper's boyfriend in the 90s. And you've got Kira. It's so, it's cute. It's like a little tiny time capsule. Um, and then, I mean, as well as the fashion, this is like a little time capsule of everything that was like really prevalent in the early 2000s. Um, so she, since she's like the doll that you're supposed to do your nails with her, she comes with these little stickers that you put on um, your nail and then you put these on top of that. Then there's like some glitter that you put into this little bottle thing and this is apparently what used to be the nail polish, but it is this gross goop that will be thrown out. So um, yeah, but she also comes with a little brush. She doesn't come with a stand or anything, um, but she also came with these little twist ties. Um, let me know if you guys remember these because these were very nostalgic and they took forever to get off, um, but I really just wanted to get her out of the box, honestly, because I wanted to steal her outfit for this uh, custom doll that I made. I rerouted her with way too much hair, but she's so magical. She was a BMR Bantu Twist uh, Claudette that I kind of modified the body and uh, gave her a bunch of saran hair and some magical colors, but I really wanted her to wear this outfit because I feel like it's very, very her vibe. Um, but you get actually a lot of pieces. So there's this strange scarf situation, a dress. Um, I think there's even a tube dress under here. Yeah, there's a tube dress under it and then another sheer dress under that, or maybe it's just a top. But I love those pieces and I cannot wait to actually try them on some ladies. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any of these? Do you remember any of those really good 90s dolls? I mean, for $20 back then, getting something like this is, it's a, it was expensive then, but now you're like, whoa, actually that was kind of the good old days. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys had any favorites. Um, I know for me, this one was pretty, pretty nice. I liked her and the cool blue Barbie as well because they switched Barbie from being the traditional pink to the blue character. And they let Teresa, I think, be the pink character for both of those. No, I think Christy was for the, for the one where they were in the, the overalls. But no, I liked that. I thought it was a really good time for her. Um, and she has the old old body with the old proportions that were so controversial. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Um, please put in the comments below who your favorite was from this line. Um, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Magical Matthias out.